guys, it's Evie and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be another school related video because these literally motivate me to work like no other. So I thought I'd bring you another one today. Today's video is basically going to be my favourite revision methods and what really works for me. Obviously it's going to be different for everyone. Some of these might really work for you, some of them you might not like at all. But I just thought I would compile a little list of my top recommended revision methods. If you don't know, I'm doing my A-levels even though I do look like I should be in year 7 but this can apply to literally anyone like whether you're doing GCSEs, A-levels, maybe university like literally if you just need some revision methods for anything coming up, any tests or anything then I really really hope that this video helps you so I really really hope you do enjoy this video make sure to give it a massive thumbs up if you do and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because why not? You want to see this face every week don't you? This video is also in collaboration with First Rate Tutors, which I am very, very excited about. So if you are a GCSE student, then keep on watching because First Rate Tutors is an amazing revision tool for GCSE students. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with my favorite revision methods. Okay, so the first kind of, I guess, revision tactic in a way, but also just a thing that really helps me understand what I'm getting done. And I've said in literally all of my study with me videos before, at least most of them, is to make a to-do list. By to-do list, I don't just mean revise Spanish or revise physics. I mean specific things like make revision notes for page 200 of the psychology textbook or revise this character in my English text. To make a specific to-do list will mean that you get those exact things done and make sure these tasks are realistic okay so the first thing isn't really like an active revision tool so i would say just do this if you have time to do it if you're not cramming last minute because it's not really an active way to revise but i really think it's a good like base to revise off of if that makes sense i've been doing it a lot in psychology recently i have actually made a separate google account so i just have google docs for revision notes and i basically do it in my own condensed words so that i can kind of take it in it's easier to understand because it's in my own words and then i can use that to revise off of okay so now i'm going to talk about the first like active revision method that I have to talk to you about today so honestly in my opinion this is one of my favorites I feel like this technique would only really work for specific subjects ones that there is a lot of content to memorize subjects like science and psychology this would be really helpful for maybe things like history just anything where you need to revise set content but you could figure it out you can just play around with it and see what works for you what you want to do is think about a certain topic that you want to go over and see what you know about it so for me for psychology I might pick a course study if you were doing like biology you might pick like microscopes and then you want to set a time on your phone for maybe like five or ten minutes to brainstorm everything you know about that topic without textbook without notes or anything and then once the timer has gone off and you've written down everything you know on that page open your textbook get all your notes out and then take a different colored pen and write down every single thing you missed and that will give you a clear indicator of what you need to prioritize what you need to go over this is so great if you have a test coming up really soon and you want to figure out what bits you need to go over this is so helpful you could then revise those specific topics and then just repeat the procedure until you have nothing in the other color and you know everything obviously you still want to go over and revise those things because you need to like repeatedly revise things to be able to memorize them but I think this is so great to prioritize what you need to remember and I love using this for psychology especially next up is practice exam questions this is one of my favorite methods at parents evening I'm pretty sure most of my teachers said that something I need to work on is writing in exam conditions and so that's what a lot of my revision has consisted of recently. I've been going over them to help consolidate my learning and make sure I understand how to answer the specific questions and it's really really helped me. So this is something I definitely recommend if you have gone over the content and you want to practice your actual exam technique or maybe you're still a little bit if you're on the content you don't want to neglect writing in exam conditions because it's such an important thing to know how to do. Okay so the next revision technique that I want to share with you is watching videos from tutors or teachers online. So the specific platform that I'm going to talk to you today is called First Rate Tutors and it's for those of you who are doing GCSE English. This is such a great platform to use for your revision so I'm going to go ahead and share it with you today. So Barbara who actually created the GCSE English course on First Rate Tutors actually really kindly reached out to me to work together for this video so I'm really excited to share the platform with any of you GCSE English students. So first 
First Rate Tutors is an extensive and easy to use platform which can make learning and understanding GCSE English literally so, so much easier. It's such a great way to help consolidate your learning. And it's basically like having access to a teacher at any time, which is such a great tool to have. So this GCSE English course, as I mentioned, is created by Barbara. She's been a private tutor for six years and is a fully qualified teacher. So you know that you're getting revision from a really, really good and educated source. So the GCSE Literature and Language course created by Barbara on the First Rate Tutors website consists of videos for every single part of the language and literature course. So everything you need, she runs through every single act or chapter, obviously depending on whether it's like a play or a novel of your books. She reads through it really, really clearly, explains meanings and gives you really great interpretations that you can then take into your essays and your exams. She also runs through all of the poetry, explaining it in depth and giving you layers of meaning, but also making it just really, really understandable. If you're stuck on a chapter, she'll explain it really clearly. She also runs through the practice exams, analyzing the questions and talking about the best ways to answer specific questions to get the marks you need. It's so easy as well to keep track of what parts you've gone through. So it's a really great way to revise without getting really overwhelmed and trying to figure out what you've done. You can basically mark when you've completed a video and then you can pick the autoplay button if you want to go through multiple videos one straight after the other. There's also a speed option. So if you are revising last minute or you just want to go over a concept really quickly, you can put the speed up and make it faster. Or if you want to write notes while you're listening, you could slow it down if it's too fast for you. First rate tutors generally is just a really helpful way to revise. Like I just think watching videos and watching someone who knows what they're talking about run through the content and give you meaning, interpretation, help you to understand the concepts is just a really, really helpful revision tool. It would have been so helpful to know about first rate tutors when I was doing my GCSEs because I feel like GCSE English is quite a difficult one to understand how to revise for and this is just such a great method and revision tool. But yeah, that is first rate tutors. I will leave all the information down below so you can go and check it out if you are interested. There is actually a discount on the course of 83% off for a limited time. So honestly, that is such an amazing discount. You can save so much money. So go check it out if you are interested. Okay, so the next method is something that some people might find a bit weird. I always saw when I was younger, my sister revising for her exams by filming herself teaching the content to herself on her laptop. And I'm not sure if this is the thing that a lot of people do, but it actually really, really helped her. Teaching other people actually is a really helpful way to revise in my opinion. So this is something that I've wanted to start doing for a while and see if it works for me. And I wanted to share it with you to see if it works for you. So literally, if you have a camera on your phone, on your laptop, laptop or anything, just whip it out, just go over like a topic in the textbook. You can do it with your textbook, without your textbook, just off the top of your head, depending on how confident you are with the concept. So you can just teach it to yourself, watch the video back if you want to. It's just a really helpful way to revise, I think, because teaching really helps me to understand and make sense of content. Okay, so the last method that I have today is using the Pomodoro method to revise. Now, you may have heard of this. I'm pretty sure I saw this on TikTok. It's basically where you revise for, I think it's either 20 or 25 minutes straight without any distractions, putting your phone away, anything that might distract you for 20 to 25 minutes straight. So put an alarm on or look at the clock and then make a time of when you're gonna stop. And then once you have finished that 20 to 25 minutes, give yourself five minutes off doing whatever you want, just checking your phone, getting a glass of water, and then repeat this again. And try and do this process maybe around three times and then you can take a longer, maybe 30 minute or an hour break. This method method helps me so much because looking at the clock and knowing an exact time where I can finish for some reason I don't know what it is even though I do psychology I don't know what the, I don't know why this works but it's so good so I recommend this so much if you have a short attention span like me okay so that is the end of this video they are all the revision methods I have to talk to you today about I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful in some way if you want any more like school revision like just general school videos in the future then let me know thanks so much for watching i hope you have a great day and i will see you in my next video bye